this is um I kind of want to open this up because there's a whole thing going on right now with child actors. You know the Quiet on Set film, and you did a you did a role at just you. I'm sure you work with Nickelodeon. What I was you? just Jordan. I did True Jackson. I did uh, Kiki Palmer and JJ Show on Nickelodeon. What was your reaction to hearing those stories? And I gotta ask, did you have any similar stories when it came to that particular environment? Um, no, because people knew my mama wasn't going. Like people, I feel like they don't. I feel we, like I just go back to me just having a solid foundation and in, in, in a real like you know what I mean. Like my mama would have pulled the plug. What? Ain't no, we gone. I go back. My mama go back to working two jobs before she before she pimp me or let y'all pimp me. She ain't, you know what I mean? It just ain't. It ain't. So I, I'm blessed to have. Like I say I'm blessed with a lot of like it's kids. Some people that have more success than me, but their success isn't. It it it, it wasn't as long lasting because they didn't have the right foundation or their success came to a crashing. You know what I mean? Type of crash and burn type thing because their family wasn't or they didn't have real people that genuinely love them and want what's best for them like my mom always wanted what was best for me whether it's me being on tv or whether it's me just being a regular kid again she want what's best and the moment she feel like oh it's not in his best interest we gone so when they know that they don't they don't play them type of games with, with the kids like that I'm have that type of you know what i mean when they, they have that type of protection around them i was protected my mama wasn't playing them type of games with none of these people in hollywood you know what i'm saying it is sad to see that a lot of kids went through that, even some of them being my peers and people that I worked with, and they'd be like, damn, you was going through that? Like, that's messed up. That's. I was going to say, um, and, and, you know, it's definitely disheartening to hear that that happened to any child because at a certain yeah, age, absolutely. you don't know wrong from right. You're still trying to figure things out. You don't want to disappoint your family because they might be relying on you. So you feel like you got to just not say nothing and play the game. I also think about like what you said, my mama don't play that. I could hear a lot of black actors, young actors having that same kind of thing. Cause I don't know if there was a lot of black, I don't think, you know, outside of uh, the two, I don't think they took it that far with some of them. Some of the black actors like that. I, I'm gonna read a, a post by your, um, by Jay Lewis, AKA little JJ. He posted on Facebook, yeah. just Jordan got canceled. I ain't giving up no ass, LOL. So I guess he was pretty much responding to Quiet on set by saying like, "Yo, that I wasn't playing the game like that." That ship sailed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my brother, Lil Jada. That's my brother. We share a lot of the same views. We came up in this together. Like me and Lil Jada is, uh, we was living in the same apartment complex at the time, and we both trying to. He was on Comic View at the time, and I was just starting to do Tracy Morgan shows. So we was both kind of making our our name in the industry around the same time living in the same complex like seeing a lot of each other so that's always been like one of my closest friends as far as the industry goes because he's un he understands he knows he's been a part of it as long as i have and, and y'all both kind of did a thing where you know in in, in kind of researching jj's thing he definitely was knocking them out knocking them out and decided to kind of like fall back and kind of go into like a, a i would say like a not a regular life. Y'all still won't ever be regular, but just like step back from Hollywood. From Hollywood. Yeah, he went to college and started going, you know what I mean? My boy went to college. Like, you know what I mean? He went and did something else. Like, and like, it's so crazy because because of what he did in his childhood, people are frowning, like, what are you doing in college? What the hell you mean? It's so because he had a because he had a, a career and a job as a kid, it's a problem for him to go get a, to further his education and to maybe pick up a trade and to try to right. do something outside of like y'all sound crazy, but it's like Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Now, now with JJ, how true do you feel what he was saying in that in that in that post he made? I mean, do you think that was him really kind of being real? Like, hey, these things are happening. How did you read that post? I read it how I read it how it was meant to be read. My shit got canceled because I wasn't with the, and I never be, and I'm cool with that. So don't ask me. That's all. That's that's what you're saying. Don't ask me. My show got canceled because I wasn't with the funny business. So keep your questions. Over there, don't come to me about no Nickelodeon, nothing. I don't know. I did one season and I was canceled. Bottom line. So I feel like that's what he was trying to get across. Like, don't come asking me no questions, fishing for information. Now, I got a, I got a, I got a, a, a deep perspective because this, this is going to definitely kind of turn the tide a, a little bit. Because a lot of times when we talk about like sexual assault to like, 
having the child actors in this case, or even in, it's a lot of times focused on male, male men. Um, yeah. Now I heard you talk about your dating experiences, and one thing about like you know sometimes when you're in that light, it just Jamie Fox calls it the mist. Did any women, adult women, put you in like uncomfortable situations when you were a young man? I wouldn't have called them uncomfortable. I mean, they wasn't uncomfortable for me. <laughs> but I didn't have, you know what I mean? I didn't have the, I didn't have, it wasn't nothing crazy or nothing, you know what I mean? But I didn't have the, you know what I mean? The, the breast pushed up in my face as a kid. Little, I mean, little stuff, stuff that wasn't uncomfortable for me. I didn't grab, I didn't been able to fill on butt and all type of little stuff that growner and older women that I was working with would, would allow me to do. And I wouldn't dare tell my mom. I wouldn't dare tell them. I wouldn't dare blow up the spot like that. You lady. Huh? Mom, about to yeah, she can out. find out now, but I'm 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 grown now, mama. Whoa, hey, hey, mom, hey. But I mean, Ain't nothing, but it wasn't nothing like off the wall, like but it was some old. And I won't even say like it wasn't only wrong. I wasn't like seven and thirty five, like but you know what I mean, like the nineteens and twenty twenty ones. They was you know what I mean. They was cool, you know. They they vibe with a young player like myself. I, I was, think they were just more so. They, they just thought I was so adorable. They just would let me do whatever. Because the only reason why I mention it, because, you know, you got a lot of times black males in particular, are like deemed as like, you know, the predators and the ones. And sometimes it don't be just men. And I'm not trying to put a spotlight on any type of or race of women. Um, I just understand yeah. how what fame does to just people. And I've seen what fame can do for like women when they're excited and you're making them laugh. And um, yeah. now in reality, though, if someone's like, what an adult pushing their breasts on a kid. It would have if you was a man that did that to a young girl. Yeah, girl, to a young girl. That's that's unacceptable. You you're going to jail. That's unacceptable. Yeah. And it's and it's, it's a sickening double standard. It's a very sickening double standard. Yeah. Because I can honestly say as a father, if a if a if a grown man does that to my daughter, oh I'm getting ready to go to prison. I'm gonna kill you. If a woman does that to my son, I'm like, ah, son, you like them titties? It's messed up. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be honest. It's a double standard. I'm going to be honest. I would not have a problem with an older woman putting breasts in my son's face. And it's so mad. It's so bad because that can cause trauma. That can scar a young kid. But it wouldn't bother me the way a male rubbing up against my daughter would. It just, I don't know why the double standard is that way, but it, that's just how my brain is wired. Because low key, in looking at it, because I, I I mean, I've had my own experiences as a young black man, you know, in different, you know, in terms of like women and me thinking it's cool, you know, right. me thinking it's cool, me thinking like, damn, you know, that kind of made me feel good. I feel like a, a man because of that incident. But in reality, you know, you, you are a victim. It's kind of you're a victim in that experience. Oh, uh, yeah. Whether you don't. We don't see it that way. We like, hell no, I'm a player. But in reality, we were victimized. Listen, to that woman, I'm not going to say your name, but to that woman, thank you for victimizing me. You made my, I probably was like eight, nine years. It was, a, it was an award show, too. I was probably about eight. The woman that put her breast in my face that day. Thank you. You made my night. You made me like, oh, my God, if I'm getting breast in my face right now at nine, just wait till I'm 19. What they going to be putting in my face deep? Man. That's how I was thinking. It is bad, but bro, I'm gonna just be real. That's how I would think. I loved every moment of it. I mean, but in reality, again, if that was a man that you know, yeah, that's not okay. And that and that's why it's like it's such a like it's a sick double standard. It very much is. Yeah, it very um, much is. It just kind of made me just you know think about it's this. the same way two women can be two female friends could be in the club and start kissing each other in the mouth, and no one's gonna question if they're if they're if they're, they're no one's gonna question their sexuality if two male homies is in the club and they start kissing each other automatically they're not even gonna question it they're gay that's what they're gonna say so it's, it's, it's like that's what i said the world we live in it doesn't make sense it doesn't right. all it doesn't always make sense but there are double standards and i hate when people try to act like the double standards don't exist or like you can kind of shun or silence the fact that there's double standards, but there are double standards, and that's just what it is. Like, it, it, it ain't nothing. I didn't create them, but I'm aware of them, and I'm not going to be naive and oblivious and act like they, they don't exist and they don't play a role 
into the way the world goes. 